Royal Family Live, Meghan Markle hits back at unflattering two-word nickname. Meghan Markle has released another episode of her Spotify podcast, Archetypes. Meghan Markle has used the latest episode of her Spotify podcast, Archetypes, to talk about being referred to as Duchess Difficult. She said the unflattering nickname was a euphemism and code word for calling her a bee. The Duchess of Sussex said, My friend said to me, there's a certain point when you come to terms with the fact that not everyone is going to like you. The goal can't be for everyone to like you, but the goal can be for them to respect you. While Meghan said she was not interested in reclaiming the word, she continued, labeling a woman as a b-word or as difficult is often a deflection. A way to hide some of her really awesome qualities, her persistence or strength or perseverance, her strong opinion, maybe even her resilience. King Charles brushes off egging ordeal as he chuckles with Nigerian president. The king held an audience with the president of Nigeria just hours after a protester threw eggs at the monarch and Camilla Queen consort in York. His Majesty welcomed Muhammadu Buhari to the official royal residence in central London. Holding the audience in the 1844 room, the monarch shook hands with the smiling Mr. Buhari. He was also pictured chuckling and gesturing with his hands while holding his hands out wide. Earlier in York, as the king and the queen consort arrived at the city's Michelagate bar, a protester began booing before throwing four eggs in the direction of the royal couple, all of which missed. The protester was heard hollering, this country was built on the blood of slaves. Princess Diana's butler warns the crown is not reality and expresses concerns. Paul Burrell the former royal butler joined King Charles and Princess Diana's household at High Grove House in 1987 and was the butler to the former Princess of Wales until her death in 1997. Mr. Burrell, age 64, posted on his 46,000 followers on Instagram that he had some concerns about the new series of The Crown. He said, We will see recent royal family history through the lens of a fictional drama. Anyone not aware of the historic detail may believe that all of the dramatizations is based on fact. Viewers should be aware that not all that they see is an accurate reflection or representation of what actually happened. He also made claims about the former Princess of Wallace's relationship with Queen Elizabeth and said, Princess Diana was a fervent supporter of the Queen and the monarchy and worked to support Her Majesty. In a note written to me, the princess said that I so want the monarchy to survive and that I am here to support Mama, he queen. Keep calm and carry on, King Charles left unfazed by egg protest, lip reader says. Footage of the incident was shared online which saw the eggs flying close to the king before landing on the floor by his feet. According to a lip reader who assessed the footage, the king epitomized the British sentiment of keep calm and carry on. As he threw the eggs, the protester shouted, This country was built on the blood of slaves. Lip reader Jeremy Freeman told The Mirror his conclusions following his assessment of the king's comments following the incident. Mr. Freeman said that after the eggs fly past the royal, he continues to shake hands with a lady and indifferently says to her, Pleased to meet you. According to the lip reader, the king then turned to a lady wearing military uniform as the crowd booed the protester and told her it's fine, let's carry on. A few moments later, the king turned to his protection officer to ask, everything all right? According to Mr. Freeman, the officer replied, he's been taken care of. Princess Diana's bodyguard left surprised as Charles Egg Pelter not spotted sooner. On Wednesday. A 23-year-old man was arrested after eggs were pelted on King Charles and Camilla during their visit to York. Princess Diana's bodyguard was left surprised as the man who pelted egg on King Charles and Camilla was not spotted sooner, a news report has claimed. A 23-year-old man was arrested after eggs were thrown at the King and Queen consort during a visit to York. The 23-year-old was heard to shout this country was built on the blood of slaves as he was restrained. The man, a University of York student, was held on suspicion of a public order offense and remains in custody. People in the crowd started chanting God save the king and shame on you at the demonstrator. Ken Wharf, who served as a bodyguard to Princess Diana told Mail Online that he would have liked to have seen the royal couple moved from the scene quicker than they were. Mr. Wharf, 
the late Princess of Wales bodyguard, told Mail Online, there's always a risk involved with public walkabouts and it's impossible to check everyone in the crowd. Ordinarily on a walkabout you'd have somebody behind the crowd following the king and the protection detail so I'm surprised it wasn't picked up earlier. And having looked at the clips I would have personally liked to have seen the king and queen consort moved away quicker. Mr. Worf added that it is hard to know what is going to happen next in such situations or what people's intentions are. Lady Amelia Spencer wows in £1,595 Michael Cora's outfit, but her twin sisters is pricier. Eliza and Amelia are the daughters of Diana's younger brother Earl Charles Spencer and his ex-wife Victoria Aitken. The twins were photographed in London today dressed in head-to-toe Michael Kors outfits. Lady Eliza wore the Derby Heather Wool Melton oversized coat which retails at a whopping £615. According to the description, this oversized coat will lend a menswear-inspired touch to your outerwear repertoire. The coat features classic notched lapels which descend into a button front closure, while front slant pockets offer pragmatic appeal. Underneath, the 30-year-old opted for a husk stretch wool cropped turtleneck jumper, which sells for £210. Described as a classic turtleneck, this jumper also has a cropped hem and shaker stitch finish to add a modern appeal. The jumper went perfectly with Eliza's £185 concrete denim pleated jeans. Lady Amelia Spencer, on the other hand, wore the £470 Michael Kors logo jack hard trench coat to add some modern luster to her outfit. Underneath, Diana's niece wore a marigold stretch wool cropped turtleneck jumper, which is the same jumper as her twin sister except in a more orange color as opposed to brown. 